guys welcome back to my bubble and in today's video as you can see by the title i will be sharing with you guys one of my top favorite most inexpensive perfumes in my collection you guys these are literally gems under 20 dollars okay these are perfect for those of you who don't want to break the bank those of you who do not want to spend too much money on a fragrance because perfumes can be a little bit pricey but you do want to smell good also for those of you who are just starting your perfume collection these are a must have in your collection okay i promise you you need to have these okay so if you guys are interested in this video just keep on watching so the first fragrance i will be sharing with you is one by jessica simpson and it is fancy girl you guys this perfume is so good it is so perfumey and the best thing about it is the performance okay like this thing lasts all day on your skin and on your clothes and it just smells so so pretty like this is the best way to describe it it is fancy it's pretty it's youthful but i feel that anyone any age can wear it really because it just gives me perfumey office mature but young pretty girl vibes like i believe this has pear and raspberry and a whole bunch of like fruity notes but it's very very perfumey it's nothing gourmand it's nothing edible it's literally a perfume perfume okay this is something that you can wear to the office that you can wear for school that you can wear to go shopping that you can wear to go on a date for anything very very versatile perfume and you just gotta have this like you cannot go wrong with this it it is a little bit strong surprisingly for a celebrity scent but i mean who doesn't like strong fragrances like who doesn't want to smell good all day long like who doesn't want to project you know what i'm saying very very good one must have and very very inexpensive like i said this is a small bottle so i think i purchased this one for like 16 dollars. they do have the big bottle for more obviously but a gem a must have okay jessica simpson fancy girl another one by jessica simpson is fancy love i feel that this one is a bit underrated and i don't know why because this is so good now i what i must say about this perfume is that it does give me celebrity scent vibes like it's nothing wowing really but it is so good and it is so unique it's musky it's powdery it's bubbly it's sparkling i believe there's apricot in here and a champagne note that makes this fragrance so unique you guys and the best thing about it like fancy girl this thing lasts all day on your skin and on your clothes and then like three days later you'll still be smelling the same way on whatever it is you wore on the first day did i make any sense i don't know but you know what i'm saying this fragrance is so so pretty very delicate and very soft the dry down especially it's just very like bubbly and and powdery and musky and just so so good this is one that would be a great one for the spring and the summertime for the office for school for the doctors whatever it is this is a very very nice youthful inoffensive fragrance must have must have all of these are must haves and of course you guessed it right i know you guessed it fancy by jessica simpson like this i mean look at what's left of my bottle i love this i need to have it over and over and over again i love wearing this one during the fall season especially just because it is so dense so syrupy so sweet so gourmand and caramel deliciousness everybody brags about this one and it is very well deserved because this is delicious you guys this is a an apricot peachy fruity syrupy thick bomb and if you guys are into that you will love this one super sweet super delicious super edible and it layers so well with so many other perfumes you guys i love this for the fall season i'm almost out of it i will probably finish this up sometime this week just to get it out of the collection for a little bit but once the fall comes back around it's coming back it's coming back baby because you need to have this if you love syrupy thick caramel dense delicious heavy sweetness you need fancy 
in your life. Next up, we have M by Mariah. Now, this one is one that I don't always pull out, but I'm so glad that I have in my collection, you guys, because the longer it sits, the better it gets. Like, can you see the juice? Like, the juice is literally brown right now and it's due to the vanilla that's in here this is vanilla this is incense this is marshmallow oh, oh 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 this is so good this is so good this is another one that's great for the fall and the winter time for the cooler months i will not wear this during the summertime just because it can be a little bit intoxicating but it is so good this is your bomb of like soapy smoky marshmallow so so good like literally this reminds me of just being at the beach at nighttime nighttime and it's a little bit chilly out and you're roasting marshmallows and you got the graham crackers going and then this is this scent is just lingering in the air smelling of smoke and marshmallows and just sweetness and very very musky the dry down is very very musky but it is so so delicious another one that layers well with many other fragrances but on its own it's a bomb it's a bomb super super cheap i don't hear many people talking about this it's a gem it's a gem m by mariah M mariah carey mariah carey another musk bomb is indie by katie perry you guys this perfume is so good now the notes here is like literally musk on musk on musk on musk and then a few other things but really all you get is musk and to my nose I pick up on some gourmand edible type of nuance in there. I don't know what it is. There's nothing gourmand in this perfume. Let me tell you. Like, stop right now and look up the notes on Fragrantica. And I, as you can see, it's just musk on musk on musk. And I think there's like a tea note in here. I'm not quite sure. But this, as I have stated in the past, this just reminds me of arroz con leche with barely any sugar. Just the coconut rice. The coconut milk and the milky rice with like a sprinkle of nutmeg over top and again barely any sugar it's so so good i love this you guys i have layered this one i guess these are all great layering perfumes but i have layered this one with other ones and it just does so so well on its own it performs lovely like you think it won't last because it is pretty light and musky and powdery but other people will smell you other people will smell you and they will compliment you mark my words they will compliment you okay this smells so good so good if you like musky perfumes and you don't like anything too sweet definitely check out indie by katie perry another one that i love 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 and i need to get another bottle of really soon is rebel fleur by rihanna like this thing is almost done <sighs> now my only problem with this fragrance you guys is that it does not last it does not last like literally my skin just sucks it up and disappears it because it doesn't last and it's it's so disappointing because i love this perfume you guys this is so good this does not smell at all like a celebrity scent this smells like something looks something that's like $130. This does not smell like it's 19 20 bucks at all. At all. This is your coconut something sexy. It's like coconut water, something sexy and sweet and a little bit spicy and very like seducing and kind of like sweaty. Like this is something you wear to like, I don't know. When I smell it, I just think of Rihanna. Literally. Rihanna at night in Jamaica dancing work 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 like <laughs> and smelling like this because it's just very like sexy and carnal and a bit spicy and tropical so so delicious i love this now the only thing is just that it does not last and also i have always tried this during the summertime the spring and summertime i have never tried it during the cooler months I have yet to try it during the colder months because I have heard people say that it performs better during the cold weather. So I do need to go ahead and try it because I don't know, just smelling this and thinking of like the wind hitting you and just, you know, this lingering in the air on a cold day, it, it 
sounds amazing this smells amazing so definitely check this out especially for the spring and the summertime and cooler month another beast mode gem cheapy fragrance is guess by marciano this you guys this is so good this is an amazing vanilla scent this is your boozy vanilla very very good at first i remember when i first spoke about this perfume i wasn't too crazy about it because it reminded me of like how a grandpa would smell i do not know where the hell i got that from <laughs> but then as i've sprayed it and as i've worn it and used it this is so good like that initial spray is a burst of boozy sparkling vanilla like and a little bit fruity too it's so good it's so so good the dry down you guys it turns into this musky cooking vanilla type of scent it kind of loses the booziness on the dry down but that initial spray that initial spray gets me every time i love this thing and i will be repurchasing this one so if you like your vanillas and you like something sparkling and boozy which then settles down into something musky and more kind of like gourmand and edible like literally cooking vanilla definitely check out guess by marciano like it's just so good it's so so good and so so cheap like literally i think they have this now for like 18 17 bucks on fragrance net you probably can even find it for cheaper in discount stores so definitely check this out you need you need turab al dab by i don't know who it's from but it's a middle eastern scent and this you guys i really really like this scent i paid 18 bucks for this one on amazon and before i purchased it i read the reviews and not a lot of people liked it they said that it smelled like cleaning product like air freshener this and that me personally i can see how they get those vibes really but don't focus on that too long try to go deeper into the fragrance and then you'll start to get that bright fresh summery beachy coconutty-ness that it is and that's where it takes me it transports me to the beach it transports me to just being, you know, being out in the summertime and just smelling like coconut, like something fresh and watery and coconutty. That is this, you guys. And I feel that if you layer this with other fragrances, oh, I got some layering fragrances coming up, you guys. So stay tuned. Keep on watching. Stay tuned. Comment, subscribe, rate, all of that. Okay. Yes. For the summertime this is a great one this is one that you just want to throw in your bag when you're going to i don't know to a amusement park to the beach to the pool easy grab fun reach whatever you want to call it coconutty fresh clean watery perfect for the summertime and super super inexpensive you guys again to dab al dab 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 <laughs> and last but definitely not least is one that's you have to i mean if you don't have this in your collection are you really a collector are you really a fragrance enthusiast a fragrance influencer aqualina pink sugar by aqualina you guys hello this is your sweet bomb cavity inducing brown sugar burnt brown sugar fragrance heavy on the vanilla heavy on the cotton candy heavy on the sweetness like i feel that this is a fragrance that you need to have everybody needs to have in their collection can't go wrong with aqualina super super sweet super super yummy very very youthful very very playful i feel like you can wear this year round really and you just can't go wrong you can't go wrong you won't go wrong you can layer this with anything you can wear it on its own it's just great super super sweet now of course if you don't like sweet like tooth achingly sweet fragrances this is not for you but if you do most of us do pink sugar by aqualina must have and that's it folks that concludes this video comment down below what are your favorite cheapies what are your favorite gems under 20 dollars let me know put me on and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to rate comment and subscribe bye